tell us in the comments. Don't forget to hit the like button and share this video with everyone you know. Hindi lamang ito laban ng gobyerno. Ito rin po'y laban nating mga mamamayan sapagkat nagsisimula sa atin ang pagkakaroon ng disiplina sa pangunawa ng pandemyang ito. Kung hindi rin po tayo makikinig sa implementasyon ng ating gobyerno sa pangunguna ng IATF, hindi po magiging successful ang ating programa. Was it sufficient? Um, honest answer, hindi. Honest answer, hindi. Um, I think na-mention mo kanina, no? um, yesterday we had 9,838 cases. Yeah. Um, is it a sign of success? No. It's not a sign of success. Um, just a few weeks ago, um, Secretary Carl Chua of NEDA said that there are 3.2 million residents of Metro Manila experiencing hunger. And 500,000 residents of Metro Manila are unemployed. Is it successful? Hindi. Um, we have a downturn of 9.5% na pagbagsak ng GDP, which is the worst after the Second World War. Not even after martial law. This is after, um, after so from 1946 up to now, 9.5% mm -hmm. bumagsak yung GDP natin. So are we succeeding? Obviously, hindi. Kasi ang bagal ng rollout natin ng vaccines, that's for one. Um, we have the longest lockdown in the world. It's now 300, I don't know, hindi ko na nabibila, pero one year na tayo naka-lockdown eh. Um, and we're, ano eh, tawag dito, we cannot buy more time if infections are rising. Kasi, um, and we cannot um, depend on the vaccination program. Sometimes, ano eh, we have to do our part as responsible citizens to respond to the challenge. Kasi, um, of course, there's the, the job of the government. I understand that. And there's the part of frustration on the lack of the government response. But as responsible citizens, you also have to do our part. You, you know, as simple as wearing your face mask when you go outside, washing your hands every time you touch something outside of your home, wearing your face shield, maintaining your distance, diba? Yung I'm not um, discounting their expertise. I'm not discounting their expertise. Um, but um, if they need help, if they need help, pwede naman kumingi ng tulong eh, di ba? Correct. Ang problem kasi minsan, um, minsan, initiative na ng taong bayan. Like, let's say, a group of doctors, for example. A group of mm -hmm. doctors would say na, o, oh, oh, ganito na yung gawin natin for the next, ganito, ganito, ganyan, ganyan. Kasi pag hindi, tataas yung cases natin. Ano sasabihin nila? Ah, hindi pwede kasi ano eh magsasuffer yung economy natin. Ah, hindi yes, pwede kasi yes. sabi ni Ganto. Pero, ano eh, um, that, the fact that at least you listen and have the humility of mind and heart to listen to these experts who know their data and who spent an entire career studying this phenomena, I think it would help eh. it, it would help. As to the composition, that's a very specific question. Um, as to the composition of our um, pandemic response, efficiency Isa of lang. military organization. Pero when we talk about public health mm -hmm. emergencies, it's not like you're going to war, diba? Exactly. Um, siguro, you tap your um, your former generals in the military to help with logistics, for example, transportation of vaccines, that's one. Um, um, providing yung military camps, for example, gawin silang mass testing centers. Kasi malalaki yung military camps, diba? Mm -hmm. mass testing center or vaccination centers, um, they are good in logistics. But in addressing a public health emergency, let's listen to the real experts. Doctors, diba? Doctors, nurses, public health officers, diba? And safe leaders economy without compromising public health. But then again, okay. um, but then again, what's the response needed before you open your economy? Make sure that you have tested a sufficient number of the population before you open the economy. Ilan na mag-positive, you isolate them immediately and bring them to the latest treatment facility, which is what um, what the strategy is for, for example, Singapore, Thailand, and Vietnam, which is our neighbors, our neighbors. Diba? And they may open their economy as early as, what, July, August? Mm -hmm. diba? They're back to normal. In Thailand, 
balik face to face sila since last year of yes. I think October ata. Ano eh, hindi mo kasi pwedeng sabihin na um kailangan natin buksan yung ekonomiya. Ay, ang pandemya hindi basta basta aalis. You need to prepare the groundwork for it. Okay? You need to prepare the groundwork for it. Because without the groundwork, talagang lolobo yung kaso mo, di ba? Talagang lolobo yung kaso mo. And for example, another um another response to that is that Look at the GCQ guidelines. Look at the GCQ guidelines. Last year, a GCQ is understood to be the second strictest. I, I, tama ba? A third strictest third, pala. Third. Kasi the th- strictest is ECQ. The second ECQ, strictest ME. is e- MECQ. Then you have the GCQ. Yes. And the most lenient is the MGCQ. Yes. When you compare the GCQ, the first GCQ in Metro Manila last year, to the GCQ just before the bubble, was introduced. Mm-hmm. Yes, yes, yes. The GCQ of January to the first week of March, wala siyang pinagkaiba halos sa MGCQ. I so, totally agree. Ano, so, an, parang naglagay ka pa ng classification, e-expand mo lang pala nung e-expand, bakit hindi mo na tinawag na MGCQ? Kasi you're confusing people. Eh. You're mm-hmm. confusing people. The more, pe- the more people get confused, the less they um, follow. Um, health protocols. Kasi parang naguguluhan sila, ano ba talaga susundin natin? ECQ, MECQ, MGCQ? Kasi mag, diba, nung na-release nila yan, iba-iba yung ano eh, iba-iba yung standards ng protocols na yan eh. Kaso ano nangyari, yung GCQ, nag-expand ng nag-expand ng nag-expand ng ano, ng um, nag-dito ng liberalities to the point na hindi na na-distinguish ng tao. Correct. And then you roll out the vaccines. Pagka roll out ng vaccines, ilang doses pa lang yun, sasabihin na kagad na panalo na tayo. Na we're winning the war against COVID-19. When in fact, it's a minuscule part of the population who gets to be qualified for vaccination. And take note that these vaccinations are the ju- are just donations. Hindi pa dumadating yung binili natin. Ako, for example, I'm, ano, I'm backing on the private sector to get my vaccine. Hopefully, later this year, I get vaccinated kasi I'm depending on the private sector. Pero for most of our ano ordinary citizens, de ba? Those working in the informal sectors, for example, yeah. construction workers, sidewalk vendors, for example, jeepney drivers, na talagang nagpapatakbo ng ekonomiya natin. Paano kaya sila? de ba? Paano kaya sila? Paano kaya sila babakunahan? Tapos mapipikon ka pa kasi mababalitaan mo mayroong artistang pumila, mayroong, may, mayroong mga mayor na pumila, wala naman sa priority list. And take note that Um, for vaccination, especially the donated ones through the COVAX facility, once you have violations on the vaccination protocol, um, at risk dito is 44 million doses of vaccines, which is a very large part in our fight against COVID-19. If you want to achieve herd immunity, you would need those 44 million. Kaya utang na loob, minsan hindi tao ang pasaway eh. Minsan hindi tao ang pasaway. ba? Diba? Oo. And with regard to balancing also between the health and the economy, ano eh, um, it just shows that the bedrock of a good economy is, the, is a good healthcare system. A I'm sorry to say system. this, uh, Sir hmm. Patrick, but once and hmm. for all, I just want to to get your opinion. No? Hmm. Do you think that Secretary Duque, you know, as he is the head of everything right now for the COVID response, do you think that he needs to resign? Okay. That's a very direct question that I will answer mm-hmm. with a very direct answer. Yes. Um, if doctors themselves, if doctors themselves have lost their confidence in the health secretary, which is the premier doctor of this entire country, have lost their confidence, paano pa akong ordinary mamamayan? Mm-hmm. Um, ano eh, um, okay. natin yun. It's not COVID-19 that will kill you. What will kill you? Pneumonia, for example. Pneumonia, um, tawag dito. You have lungs that would collapse, for example. Um, sometimes it's a complication of the heart, for example. If you, especially if you have a, um, tawag dito. If you have pre-existing conditions, for example. So mm-hmm. it's not really COVID-19 that will kill you, but the complications associated with that disease, the weakening of the immune system, for example. Why I, why do I say that it's true? Because Spreading, the tragedy is um, this information online. Don't wait for um, don't wait for it to come to you personally. Whether 
sa inyo personally or sa mga kamag-anak nyo. Kasi it's a very hard um, experience to go through. Not just the experience of sickness and of or losing a loved one, but the fact that um, even after death, you cannot see those loved ones anymore. Diba? Mm-hmm. So, kung meron mang kayong kamag-anak na sinugod sa ospital sa COVID-19 because of COVID, um, just hope that they will return safe mm-hmm. and sound. Kasi if they die in the hospital, you won't see them anymore. And that was a very tragic lesson, I guess. Um, good work. Um, sobrang ganda ng response ng OVP. I'm not saying this because nag-OJT ako doon. Nung nag-OJT ako, yeah. hindi pa siya ang vice president. Lininawin ko lang po. Okay. <laughs> okay. Now, next. Um, From my um, friends who are in Manila, the mayor has been doing a very good job. Kasi uh, aside from the mass testing, the vaccination program, um, sab- ang sabi nila, even after ECQ, tuloy ang ayuda. So that's good. That's good. Kasi kailangan, um, kailangan natin ngayon ay gastusin ang pera. Kung gusto mong pabalikan ang ekonomiya ng lugar mo, kailangan mong gastusin ang pera. Hindi Ay, lang utang ha, kailangan mong gastusin yung inutang mo. Totoo naman. Okay, next. Siyempre, hindi pwede mawala ito. Yan, yan, sa mga programs niya. It gives me a little tinge of hope na things would get better. Kasi, um, tawag dito, his response is very excellent in terms of management, not just um, not just in not just in the management of passing city itself, but the management, alam mo yung common sense management, which is kailangan pag nasa local government ka. Hindi mo kasi kailangan dumepende na, ah, itong bataas, itong kailangan gawin. Sometimes it's just common sense eh. And Vico has this, um, has common sense and also the the drive to do things well. So, I really commend him for that. Okay. And this one, so ito, very tumata- You listen to people also. It would not hurt you. It would not hurt you to listen to Okay. Now, thank you for your inputs. Thank you for your... Okay. Um, we have the vaccines already. Pero when you look at the data, isa tayo, um, isa tayo sa mga pinakamabagal mag-roll out ng bakuna. We have 0.2 per 100 people na nababakunahan. And when you consider the population of the Philippines, if I'm not mistaken, we're around 105, 110 million. Um, Kung i-consider mo yung population ng Pilipinas, mm. all of us would get vaccinated by 2024 or 2025. And we cannot wait that long. Yes. Diba? Um, siguro, yung kailangan mas aggressive tayo eh, sa vaccination. Eh. Um, ano yung aggressiveness dito? Hindi lang sa mismo pagbabakuna, but to build up public confidence in the vaccines. Um, there's this latest survey that 61% of Filipinos, the lockdown has to be a proactive approach. Hindi ka lang magsasara basta. You have mm-hmm. to do mass testing. You have to increase the capacity of your hospitals. You have to increase the capacity of our health workers. You have to increase... Um, kasi, syempre, kinukulang tayo fighting a war against an unseen enemy. Um, kung meron mang panahon na kailangan nating magtulung- magtulungan as one people, as one nation, now is the time. Now is the time. But again, um, in order for us to help you, you have to allow us to help you. Um, hindi kami makakatulong kung hindi kayo makikinig sa amin. Diba? Um, siguro, maraming maraming salamat din sa ating health workers. Isang taon na kayo nagsasakripisyo na hindi makita ang mga anak nyo, hindi nyo man lang sila mayakap, hindi man lang kayo makatulog sa isang kwarto kasama ang mga anak nyo. Um, pero, um, nabakon, um, some of you have received the shots, so congratulations. Um, Pero ano eh, tawag dito, minsan masasabi ko kapit lang talaga eh, kapit lang. Um, tiwa, um, kung meron mang panahon na kailangan natin ilabas ang diwa ng bayanihan, ngayon yun. Ngayon tayo kailangan magtulong-tulungan, ngayon tayo kailangan magbayanihan. Kasi iisa ang kalaban natin. Hindi na hindi tayo hindi kalaban ang oposisyon, hindi kalaban ng gobyerno. Ang kalaban natin ay isang sakit. At ngayon tayo kailangan magtulungan, ngayon tayo kailangan magbayanihan. Siguro yun ang masasabi ko na lang. Stay tuned for the next episode only here on Big Media.